are uh, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. We are shifting gears a little bit to talk about I'm of what I'm sure is a favorite Christmas treat for a lot yeah. of Belize, and that is rum popo. Mm -hmm. And discussing that this morning is the owner of Kojak Sumptuous, Sumptuous Rum yes. Popo. Yes. And, <laughs> hey, and, you know, okay. that's a good Belizean way of doing it. When you say it two times, of it means course. it's really good. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we've got Kojak Smith with us here to tell yeah. us all about his delicious recipes. So good morning and yes. thanks for joining us. Good morning, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a pleasure. It's my third time on the show so I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to share the different recipes of the Christmas season and we appreciate getting the chance to try it too. <laughs> no problem at all absolutely and you 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 really threw a curveball at us this time because I have been trying to figure out since I found out that you were coming mm. how does one make a vegan rum popo rum popo is milk mm. sweet milk condensed milk eggs, eggs and rum and spices. So we were joking that you're just going to serve us spiced it's rum wrong. and no. say, here's your <laughs> vegan <laughs> rum popo. Um, actually, we took some time to create the recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we included substitute no soy, no dairy. Okay. Um, also, no eggs. Mm -hmm. And okay. it's gluten free as well. Wow. And it, it so, tastes good. It, <laughs> well, you guys will be the taste testers. Okay, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, we've had feedback from people already because we actually started the the season, our season started from October. Okay then. Mm. Yeah. So we've had feedback on the vegan rum popo, and we we're also going to display today the pumpkin spice rum popo as well. Oh, that's okay. what I'm smelling. Yeah. So we have <gasps> two, two different good. lines this year, and we still have the regular as well. Okay. All right. So we, we got to get started. I am so intrigued. Which do you want to start on? Um, let's do, you choose. Let's do pumpkin spice, <laughs> and then we'll and get in. the big finale. Yeah, I know, right? No that's, save the best for last. All right, so pumpkin spice, definitely a trending flavor that people yes. like around this time of year. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to make a rum popo pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice yes. All right. Gotcha. So it's a little bit of local flair along with the international. All right. Yeah. Okay, then. So first we'll add the eggs. Mm -hmm. So Kojak, are you going to share any more secrets with us this year? A little bit. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Very, 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 very little. A little bit more than last year. <laughs> I got some comments from friends and telling me that I didn't share anything at all. Which, uh, is, uh, yeah. which is why he says, go buy Kojak some choice. Yeah, right? I mean, exactly. why go through the trouble of making it yourself when you could just buy it already prepped? All right, then we'll add dark rum. Okay. Does the order matter as to how you put it in the blender? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just really Ooh. by preference. <laughs> Start your morning right. Yeah. <laughs> Start your morning tipsy. <laughs> Don't worry, you, it'll be hidden properly. Okay, got you. All right, then we add the pumpkin mix. Mm -hmm. So what is that, just, just spiced pu pumpkin? Just a pumpkin mix that um, you could buy at the store. Okay. okay. Yeah. So give it and that pumpkin flavor. Yeah, you add to, to taste how much you want. Mm. And do you find that like, this flavor is popular so Yeah, far? it's catching on. Um, I have people that kind of switch completely from the regular okay. to just pumpkin spice. Oh, wow. Which right. was kind of strange, but uh, I'll take it anyway. It <laughs> as long as they're buying the product, right? Yes. <laughs> so now we add the spices. Oh. Is that your secret blend? Now you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so generally, it usually is cinnamon and nutmeg, right? Um, the pumpkin spice does have curry um, cloves as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And then? And we'll add the milks. Mm hmm. So this is typically how a rum popo is done, minus the pumpkin and mm -hmm. the pumpkin spice. Ooh, that looks yeah, good just looking. like that, right? Yep. <laughs> you know what? Why rum popo is great? I mean, I'm a big dessert lover. Me too. And so basically, it's like drinking a dessert. Exactly. <laughs> um, to be honest, the pumpkin spice, if you like pumpkin pie, uh -huh. it's very similar to that. No, oh. so it's like drinking a pumpkin yeah, pie. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. What other flavors do you have for this year? Um, it's just these three. Okay. Along with the regular one. So we're doing, we got the vegan. Right here. We got, can you see? This one is, looks like original. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. We'll put them back up there. Okay. Okay. okay, go ahead, yeah. All right. I guess I made a little too much. No, that's not true. It's a little too much. <laughs> Do you see the size of this crew that woke up for this segment? <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Let me get you guys a glass. All right, so that's it. That's we did a wow. pumpkin spice rum popo. Mm -hmm. And I know you're a big pumpkin spice lover, right? Yeah, for sure. So you'll be able to uh, judge accordingly. <laughs> if the ice would incorporate, we can get the glasses ready. <laughs> <laughs> so Kochak, you said you started making rum popo back in October? Yes. Wasn't that October. a bit early? It's never too early for rum popo, actually. <laughs> so people were like feeling the spirit from way back then, true? Yep. <laughs> actually, I have people, um, I have customers that call me throughout the course of the year. Uh -huh. And if they have an event coming up or something, they would ask me to make a couple bottles for them. Okay. Yeah, so I, I've made rum popo in February, June, July. That's true. You know, why do you have to only have drink to wait, it yeah. at, at Christmas? Especially exactly. if you're a big fan. Exactly. All right. So we got our first pumpkin spice, right, that looks good. Smells not good. latte, rum popo. You want a glass? Sure. But I am most excited to see the next recipe. So if you're just joining us, Cheers. Kojak from Kojak Sumptuous uh, Rum Popo made us some pumpkin spice pumpkin rum popo. Spice rum popo. Right. One of his new flavors of rum popo. Mm, that's good. Mm. That really, it does taste like pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the flavors, the spices. Yeah. And you know, it's nice like rum popo, but it does taste different. Mm -hmm. I can understand why someone will shift from rum popo yeah, to yeah. just this. Mm. Okay. So you like it, right? I do. Right. <laughs> I'm just making sure that everyone hears it clearly that mm -hmm. she does like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to stop because I saw how much rum you put in. <laughs> All right. You don't taste the rum though, right? <laughs> I no, don't I taste don't. it, but yeah. that doesn't mean you won't feel it. <laughs> All right. All so right. now is really the uh, interesting yeah, part this of this I'm recipe. Really curious Shifting about. gears. So a lot of people are trying to be more health conscious. Some people have given up animal products entirely. Yes. Some people and have allergies, some they're lactose intolerant or something. So you've never really been able to enjoy rum popo. Well, Kojak has found a solution for that. Yes, I have. By creating a vegan rum popo. Hmm. And some of the magic is happening here already. Yeah. Okay, are you gonna tell us what you're substituting with? Yes. First of all, how do you substitute eggs? The thing is, it's just to get the consistency of the eggs. Okay. So we substitute it with flaxseed. Okay. Ah, okay. That's really good. So flaxseed actually has a lot of uh, omega. Yes. Yeah, yeah, three. And it's very healthy as well. It is extremely healthy, yeah. Mm. Okay, so we'll start with the Good proteins seed. going in there. All right, so we got flaxseed, and you just used the ground one, and you added some water? Yes. Okay. If you want to That's tell pretty... everyone exactly what I do. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, Don't worry. They wouldn't have mastered the right con uh, the, um, amount as yet. All right. So we'll add the alcohol. Dark All rum. right. Dark rum. <laughs> <laughs> so when did somebody request a vegan recipe from you or you just decided you wanted to venture and, and try something um, new? Actually, it's something we've been working on for a while mm -hmm. and we decided that this year let's try it. Mm -hmm. And I actually had someone request it. Mm -hmm. And when they requested the vegan because they don't eat eggs and mm -hmm. yeah, so I said, um, let's, this year let's really do it. And I mean, you just didn't tell them, listen, that you've given up certain things with this lifestyle. Rum Popo has to be one of them. No, it's no, egg no, and no, milk. No. We try to be customer friendly and help <laughs> make sure everyone gets a little sample of the Christmas holiday treat. All right, so this means you did quite a bit of uh, trial recipes before. Yes. Right? Was it very difficult to find out the right equations um, for everything? You want me to be honest? Yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, it wasn't that difficult. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I was trying to be modest. Okay. <laughs> this is right. a rum popo man, right? So I know, right? Smells... <laughs> we'll add the spices. Okay. That's Kojak's secret spice yes. blend, but yeah. traditionally yeah. rum popo has cinnamon, nutmeg. And what mm. else? Um, it just depends on what you want to add in there. Mm -hmm. All spice as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So we started off with some flax seeds mm -hmm. and we spices. added the spices Alcohol. and the rum. Now we'll add the vegan condensed milk. This and vegan wow, condensed milk? I didn't milk? know that existed. I <laughs> didn't even know that. It took some time finding my recipe, my um, ingredients, but yeah, there is. So this is a secret, this is a Kojak blend of, of condensed milk. Wait, did you secret, make yeah. the vegan secret. condensed milk or this is nah, like I'm not legit. that good. I'm not that okay. good. <laughs> but it's vegan condensed milk. Okay. okay, you know, going vegan doesn't sound as hard anymore I know, right? if you could get <laughs> condensed milk. There, there is a lot of substitute, especially when people are baking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. they, they need the condensed milk to make sure that it comes out how they want it to come out with the same consistency. So there is a vegan I was going to say milk. you could have lemon meringue pie, but then yeah, how would you I make thought... meringue? Uh, yeah. Oh, there is a vegan way of doing that. Yes, you I have to taste substitute. This. Just taste it, you don't have to reveal exactly what you taste. <laughs> oh, it's but good, it right? tastes it's good. good right? yeah. Let me try some. Oh, Gavin. Let me try. Mm, it's better than condensed milk. That is not, yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. Vegan condensed milk. Yeah. And then I'd we, do that again. Then we add nut milk. Nut milk. Yeah. Okay. Are you specific about your type of nut milk? Yes. Okay. Got you. But for Cause he's very clear in saying nut milk. For, yeah. for this purpose, we'll just say nut milk. Okay, mm -hmm. but you could buy almond milk anywhere yeah, if you, you want to use almond milk. Mm -hmm. Or you could buy the cashew milk as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Giving some secrets away. No, we don't know which one you use. You could do macadamia True. milk. You yeah. could do I don't know what else. <laughs> I was waiting for you to go on. <laughs> Peanut milk. Yep. All right. Let's, All right. let's see what happens. And there you have it, blending it all up for and something I have never seen before. Or heard of, thought about, I yeah. didn't even say heard of. Vegan rum popo. Yep. So Kojak, do you have a preference? as to regular rum popo or vegan rum popo? Um, putting me on the spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> My personal preference is the eggnog. What's it, mm. isn't eggnog rum it's popo? It's just without rum, it's just without the rum. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So you go for alcohol free, which means your flavor has to be really good. Yeah, <laughs> you have to really, could tell what's yeah. exactly is in the, is in yeah. each. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you do make eggnog for people as yes, well? Yes, I do make eggnog. We do the eggnog in, we do the vegan eggless nog. <laughs> we do the regular eggnog and we do the pumpkin spice eggnog. You okay. should just call it no eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> or just nog. <laughs> nog we nog. have titled your product and we will collect on royalties. Yes, we'll copyright it, we'll <laughs> copyright it. He also sells nog. <laughs> All right, so again, you got eggnog, you have the eggless eggnog, you have rum mm -hmm. popo, pumpkin. vegan rum popo, pumpkin spice rum popo, pumpkin spice pumpkin rum, spice rum, rum popo. popo. What else? There's five flavors. What other how flavors much, much do you have? See? The regular rum popo, the eggnog, the regular mm -hmm. eggnog, the pumpkin spice eggnog, the pumpkin spice rum popo, and the vegan eggnog. The vegan eggless nog mm -hmm. and the vegan rum popo. So it's six, sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Grand I'm finale. Super excited. I'm stir it properly. So here we go. Now it is a different color. Yes, it we is. We have yes, to say that right. much. And and I saw it from here. Mm -hmm. That it's just a little bit darker. Consistency wise, close oh, enough, but a say, little yeah. bit more liquid. As close as possible, yeah. 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 So it tastes. Right. And bottoms up. Okay. <laughs> It's good. Yeah. It is. That's nice. And it's, oh yeah, it does, and it tastes pretty yeah. similar to the original. Close as possible as yeah. I could get yeah. with the vegan. It's actually a little bit sweeter mm -hmm. than regular rum popo. Definitely mm -hmm. tastes like rum popo. Mm. Nice. I would definitely Thanks. I would this. never have known. It. If you'd served this to me, mm -hmm. I would have yeah. never known this was vegan. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going for. <laughs> mm. Okay. This is great. Well, so. there you have it, right? Just when you thought that you'd have to give up rum popo because you, you shifted don't. to a vegan lifestyle. You don't, you don't, you don't. 
Kojak made sure your Christmas is still the same. Everyone can enjoy the treat. <laughs> Always. All right, so where can people place their orders? They could hit us on um, our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It's the same name, Kojak Sumptuous from Popo. Mm -hmm. And that's C-O-J-A-C. Apostrophe S, Sumptuous. And they could call me or WhatsApp me at 632-2622, as well as you could just text or call. Um, okay. It's $22 for the regular rum popo. Mm -hmm. And the regular eggnog, the pumpkin spice is 24 for rum popo or eggnog. And the vegan is 35 Okay. okay. Yeah. And three dollars for delivery or you can, can pick up. Oh. All right. Just All call right. for directions. There so. you have it. And you also have gift bottles available? Is this oh, what I'm seeing let me here? See, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, this is for you your, guys. Your set this is, designer. Oh, wow. this, is for, this is for Channel 5. Oh, oh thanks for having me. This is beautiful. That. The bottle is beautiful. Yes. All right. Well, thank so, you so much for so coming in. you guys in. have a special bottle for the staff. And we'll have them guess what the flavor is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so we wanted to say thank you for coming in. And for, for being so me. creative with your recipe. Um, we've got the pumpkin spice from Popo as mm. well as... Oh, the vegan. And vegan. it was really, both of them are really, really nice. Did you have a favorite, Marlene, out of the two we tried? I'm just still stuck on the fact that I would have never known yeah. that that was vegan rum Popo had you served it to me. I agree. Yeah. All right, and so... That's, that's exactly what we're going for. And we're happy that customers seem to be taking well to all the products. And yeah. making sure that I have a steady flow of work <laughs> in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> So other than that, I'm thankful for all my customers that support me from day one. Yeah. All right. So uh, find Kojak's Sumptuous Rum Popo on Facebook, or you can make uh, get in touch with him and find out how you can get your bottle. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Thank Thanks you. for having me. We're going to go ahead and take that break. When we come back, we've told you how to make your rum popo. Now we're going to help you find those gifts. We have our friends from Quartz coming in with some gift ideas. That's coming up after the break. <laughs> 